Fuck it up and then leave. Come back. Fuck it up and leave again. Top of the future needs to fuck off. He needs to get out of the fucking hip hop industry, out of the music industry. He needs to fucking take up golf, become the best golfer in the fucking scuba diving world. I DJ Khaled, we the best. One of your favorite people to hate has released a a single. Enjoy <laughs> with Jay Z, Future, and Beyonce. Hasn't dropped a good single since the track he did with Kendrick Big Sean. Do I got the keys? That was good too, but ma major key was better. All right, I got the keys was a good song, and that was Jay Z and Future on there. Now we're getting a repeat, and now we got Beyonce. Let's head let's get it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready to not like it. I'm ready to like it. <laughs> Fucking hate it. How many times are you gonna say this? Five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Word, word. Z12, C12, wow. I do the whole dash with no seat belt. Scream that free, my nigga Meek Mill. Niggas can't Willie in this free world. Meanwhile, Georgie Paul, you sending and sending me threats. Save your breath, you couldn't beat a fight step. Try that shit, Bill. Keep it real with you, that was one, Bill. My whole team ball, everybody's a star with the team ball. 61 with the thing off. Me and Blue having a sing off. Got some raspberry. Yeah. But Really shit to come out the stool. Callin' is valid, every word is true. What these niggas gonna do without us? I think they talk about the main bag. I think they talk about the main bag. I think they talk about the main bag. Why's he gonna ruin everything? Why we kind of good things? Someone end this man's career. Please. I chop the top off the notice. Ride around town with the floatis. One more notice. I'm the only lady that's still a realest nigga in the room. Get a beat? Yeah, girl. If they're trying to party with the queen, they're going to have to sign a non-disclosure. You don't think it's funny to hug with the money back? I want to play that again, but I don't want to put you through that. I want to play Beyonce's verse again. You want to do that before we go in? I would have never thought I would have lived through a time. Because I'm not huge on Beyonce, but she bodied Jay-Z. You bodied him? She, she did. body him? No, because Jay-Z came in with a very similar flow, with his same sort of verses, like, you know, having a bit of fun with some cute lines. But Beyonce came in with that fucking attitude. She came with the thunder. She came in with so many different vocal changes. She brought the heat. She fucking had a bit of experimentation with things I haven't heard her do before. She fucking came with it. Jay-Z just came with, yo, I'm Jay-Z, hey. Whereas Beyonce's like, fuck y'all, Jay-Z. I'm gonna body your motherfucking ass on this track. I would rarely hear a rap like that. Like, get on her quick She was going here. Bro. And Future can suck my motherfucking dick. I don't know if he pulled it out, I hope he didn't. Of course I'm not going to pull my dick out. I don't want them to see my dick. Okay, great. That'd be... That's, uh, not proper. Call me... Man. Hey, hey, no, no, you know what we're going to do? Let's play the Jay-Z first again. Alright, skip and Future and then, then Beyonce. Skip. I may as well let Future play. Like. Okay, sure. I'll let's let's give Future another fucking... I break the internet top two and I ain't number two. My body my eyes, my cash. I'm not real, I'm a triple threat. Fuck it up and then leave. Come back, fuck it up and leave again. Top of the cool man, it looks like free me. In the hood, how they free me. Woo! I'm not a non-disclosure. Ah. I'm the 
I'm the only lady yet, I'm still the realest nigga in the Ooh. room. Who's she in the room with? Future, DJ Khaled, and her husband, Jay-Z. She's still the realest though. Shots fired, subtly, but nicely. Which is still funny because I still think she has the best part of this song. Exactly, that's the best so part about it. So the line is living up to what she just said. Exactly. And her verse is half the length of what Jay-Z's was. Ex that's very important. Mm -hmm. She did more mm -hmm. impact in half the time. Mm -hmm. Ain't that some shit. Ain't that some shit. And then, dope, and then if we bring it back to what Jay Z said at the start, he said they shared out free Meek Mill. I think that's important. And she did the same thing. Yeah. yeah, she did. I think that's important because Meek is somebody who's like a lot of people love to hate him. Like he's controversial. Yeah, we don't love. We don't hate you, Robert. We just we just <laughs> love to hate you. Uh, Drake didn't say anything about it except in his concert at I was at. He said it. He shouted out once he saw someone sign. So I think that's an important cultural kind of little statement <laughs> that is important. You know. Well, yeah, I, f I feel like as much as Meek was in the wrong foot, it's such a small thing that people should just overlook it, man. It's just like, why send someone in prison for so long for something as minuscule as that? And that, that's a huge part of the justice system as well. Like, sure, there's rules there to follow, and they're very easy to, to, to you know, to follow. Like, Meek fucked up, end of story. But at the end of the day, I do think it's wrong for someone to be in prison that long for something like that. How long was it? I think it's like two years, mm. something like that. For like, combat basically for being, out of his, for being out of his probation yeah. zone or something. When it, all I think about is the people that deserve to go to jail, like the people that fucking kill murderers, rapists, people that take ben like take benefit for people's money, like con artists, that sort of stuff. Those people that like I just you know just start as artists, uh, just fuck up things like that. Excuse me. I don't know. I just feel like there's there's so many loopholes in the justice system. It's it's nearly impossible to get it right. So. Does this make you want to actually make that Beyonce Jay Z tour real? I don't give a fuck about that tour, man. You don't give a fuck. Why don't you give a fuck? Have you ever been to a Jay Z concert? I haven't. I've never been to a Jay Z concert. Never been to a Beyonce Funk concert. I, I I used to be a really big Jay Z fan. I used to fucking love him, but just over the years, I've just just not cared as much about him. Okay. Because don't get me wrong, Magna Carta, Holy Grail, it's a good album. Uh, four four four, it's a great album, but they weren't enough to make me a fan again. Because there's such a, there was such a big gap between those albums, a big gap. Like, because I grew up listening to like Reasonable Doubt, Blueprint. Uh, the Black Album. Those three albums was like a lot of my childhood. I fucking love those albums. Then obviously there was like Blueprint 2. There was um, American Gangster album, which I thought was really good. But then after there was like uh, Kingdom Come, uh, Blueprint 3. Like as soon as you got to that era of Jay-Z, that's when I started to like be like, oh, he's letting me down. He's not giving me the content that I know that he can normally give me. And with those two albums, I think another one after that, in that sort of period, I just lost interest. Mm. Very similar to the game when the game had like documentary, Absolutely. Doctor's Advocate, but then he released a lot of shit albums. And so you'd need another really great album or another two really great which albums. Which four get four? Back. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like four 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 is that great album. But like I said, the problem with that album for me was like I felt like his flow didn't have enough effort into there. I felt like for such a great message that he's giving, with not his one of his greatest ever, there just wasn't that delivery that I wanted. Okay. So whenever I listen to the album, that's all I'm thinking about. And also. Because, like I said, there's such a huge period of time in between each other, it's just not enough to hold me. So I'm still a big Jay-Z fan, but mostly due to the start of his career. I'm just not as big as that. So if he came to Australia, I'd go if his tickets were like 80 bucks, but they're obviously going to be like 150, 200 bucks. Yeah. But anyway, that's just my take on it. Either way, I'd listen to this track again if Future wasn't on it. Future needs to fuck off. He needs to get out of the fucking hip-hop industry, out of the music industry. He needs to fucking take up golf and become the best golfer in the fucking scuba diving world. I don't give a fuck. Just get out of hip-hop. I'm fucking sick of you. You're pissing me off. On that note, that's Jungle Beats. Australia's plug. I'm mad as fuck. To the... Sweatiest pants. Yeah. It's the Yonce, oh Yonce, and they lingerie on that shot, and they scoring touchdowns on your runway. I'm Texas forever, like Bombay, and I'm Rambo in the O. I'm Billy Ray, like John Jack, I'm Camo in the O. These thoughts can't clock me now.